Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the Henderson number 284N. This is a uh, nylon wheeled, uh, nylon body wheeled hanger. Uh, the 284N is a sister product to the 284. A uh, very similar wheel, they're just rated for different loads. And as a result, the 284N is the lighter of the two, rated for less weight but still uh, a, a substantial um, weight rating on the 284N. And this is what the wheel looks like. When you order the 284N, you'll get, of course, the trolley, the wheel assembly. You're going to get what is called the pendant bolt. That's the pendant bolt. This washer, or the, pardon me, this flanged nut will be included as well, it won't be attached. The top mounting bracket is also included as are the four screws necessary to attach that unit to the top of your door. Probably a wood door. Uh, it doesn't have to be a wood door, but very likely is. So let's start with some dimensional properties of this item because people uh, obviously uh, ask. Uh, people will have a hanger in their hand and they'll say, okay, here's the wheel diameter, sell me a hanger. Um, that's, that's, that's tough at best. Um, diameter of this get a little more sophisticated on the dimensions. Outside diameter of this wheel. 0 0.8 0 0.875 0.875 so that's 7 eighths diameter. The thickness of the wheel 0.273 0.273 thick. The center to center of the wheels, I can judge that fairly accurately here. I'd say that we're going to be right at 0.75, so three quarter inch, center to center. Center to center of the wheels in length. one point one seven five one point one seven five center to center of these wheels okay now there is a link below this video to a document called technical drawing it will go over some of that uh, information with you um, how this is going to go together is simply this your hanger will go on the door then your pendant bolt pendant your pendant bolt will go underneath and then you're going to tighten that nut down okay so it looks like that basically. Your hanger is now going to be introduced. Okay, There is a nut that's there as well that will allow you to, well it doesn't do anything allow you to, except allow you to thread that on. And of course you'll be able to um, effect change on the height of the material. Obviously by adjusting your pendant bolt. You're going to need to get it really within the range of where it's going to need to be. And then um, the hanger with the bolt will go into the track. Then you'll be able to get the door, you know, once the plate is attached to the top of the door, you'll be able to bring basically the door to the hanger. And then you can tighten up that bolt once you've made your adjustments. But you're going to want to be in the range of where that needs to be height-wise. Okay, and that's how that's going to work. Let's take a basic dimension of the overall length of the hanger. About four and three sixteenths by about an inch, by about three quarter inch. Okay. Now there is a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where I'm going to want to direct us to supporting documentation. So let's do that now on the screen. Okay, so what we're referring to in terms of supporting documentation will be the manufacturer's page as seen here. Then that product catalog we have, we can go ahead and click on that, and that's going to allow us to pull up the catalog. And from here, we can do a find function on our keyboard for 284N and locate all of the instances where the 284N comes into play. Okay, so this is used on the Husky 50 series. The 284 hangers for the Husky 100, and that's a load capacity difference, really, is what the bottom line is. Uh, 
What's important to note is that the track is the same. You'll have the same box track, but the hangers will 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 vary. Um, and what we're getting at here is with the Husky 50, with a maximum door weight of 50 kilograms. I mean, 2.2 pounds per kilogram, right? So you're dealing with a with a heavy door to begin with. I mean. You would only go to the Husky 100 as if you needed to have a 200-pound rated capacity uh, on your hanger, and that's certainly a good idea. But let's face it, for closet doors in most applications, 100 pounds will certainly be not exceeded. Even if you had a 3-foot door that was 7 foot tall, and if it's 6 pounds per square foot, um, you know, you're at 126 pounds, uh, or maybe six and a quarter pounds. So that's a large door to have hanging. So if you're dealing with typical residential material, that might be 32 inch times 80 inch divided by 144 for square foot times 6.25. You know, you, you've got to have inch and three quarter solid core doors before you even will need to consider getting past the Husky 50. Let's stop that voice recording that was running. So there's your information on the Husky 50. The 284N shows up about a dozen times or so in the catalog. It will give you an idea of what it all actually looks like. It's helpful to be able to sort through the catalog to see what are the important ramifications on the 284N as you go through the catalog. So interesting material here. The uh, There are variations on the 284N. They can do this in the standard. Um, they can do it in a stainless steel or a non-ferrous version, and the N is going to be your 50-pound capacity. You need to go up to the 100-pound capacity in a non-ferrous. Go to the 284SS wood doors. And you're going to go to the 285 if you're hanging metal doors. And what's going to change there is the type of fastener that's included. And inherently, the 284N is automatically for wood doors. So if you need to have machine screws um, included, be sure to order the 285. That's a handy reference there as well. Okay, Bigger cross-section of what they're showing us here on the 284N. And this is all right out of the catalog. Uh, it's just simply what it is. Okay, now having gone on about the difference between the hangers, it is more common to have the 284 hanger, which would come out of the Husky 100. But if we switch over to the PEMCO catalog and look for the 284 uh, hanger, we're going to... not find any reference to that, okay? And I don't know exactly why, but if you're looking for the 284 hanger, not the 284N, you're gonna wanna look for the H200 PACK. H200 PACK is the part number where you're going to find the 284 hanger. So what happened was they stopped selling the 284 as a separate standalone product and they only sell it now in the H200 pack, okay? And this is what that would all look like. So you can't buy individual H284 hangers, but you can buy the H200 pack, and that's it right there, okay? That's your 100 kilogram per door rating on your uh, pair of hangers. And a more inclusive kit, you know, it's going to give you additional items that are shown here to a certain degree. The box wrench is included. Um, you know, the ability to clip the door. Oh, that's a guide. The ability to clip the door in the um, open position or the closed position is handy. These guides snip right onto that arrowhead edge. They'll snap into here. Your pendant bolt assembly is all here. So that's the history of the 284. Let's finish up this video on So the history of PEMCO, uh, they have offered sliding door material for quite some time. 
but it was probably three, four, five years ago where there was some sort of an alliance with Henderson or Asa bought Henderson or Pemco bought Henderson. I don't know who owns who. But out of the Henderson catalog, which is going to present you with more options in terms of sliding door hardware, especially that material that's intended for exterior commercial work than any other catalog I've seen. Pemco took a lot of that and phased much of it into their standard catalog. So now Pemco is a company that you can rely on to get your hands on a very good broad spectrum of sliding door material, pocket, bifold, surface mounted sliding material, um, bypass. And the, I think the m most valuable reason to consider Pemco material for sliding hardware is because they have at the factory a lady there who has forgotten more about sliding door hardware than people have ever learned. She is an exceptional wealth of irreplaceable knowledge that I draw on occasionally and she entertains and answers my question 100% of the time. And in true expert fashion, she will not only answer the question, but then she will answer it from other angles as well, covering all the bases. There's never a need for follow-up uh, with her. And that's why I think you should consider Pemco over other people. And there are a lot of people who do this work expertly, but Pemco definitely has um, a full complement of material offering and the technical skill behind it to back up um, your possible uh, reason to purchase Pemco. Any questions on the 284N or any other uh, Pemco hardware, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.